Welcome to a series of video tutorials that will cover ImageLine's guitar amp emulation software, Hardcore. As mentioned, Hardcore is an amp simulator for guitar players, allowing them to create a plethora of guitar amp sounds without the need to purchase a range of different amps. There are several other benefits to use in Hardcore as well. When used with your favorite DAW application, it is possible to record a dry guitar sound to your recording application while monitoring through the amp simulator. And even after recording is laid down, you still have the freedom to go back and change the sound of your amp without having to re-record the entire guitar track. In the videos to follow, we'll look at how to use Hardcore both on its own, which is perfect for live playing situations, or as a plugin to your favorite DAW application, as well as looking at various sections of Hardcore that make up the amp simulation, such as the EQ, cabinet, and effect pedal sections as well as a few videos that will cover each of the individual effect pedals on offer. However, to start this video, we are going to give a brief tour of the interface to cover what each section is responsible for, and as mentioned, we'll go into more details of each section with their corresponding videos. Along the top of the amp are a few basic parameters that control the input and output of the guitar signal, as well as the few parameters that can be used to modify the input and output signal. These parameters are EQ and cabinet simulation. We will take a closer look at these sections in part 3 of this video series. Also at the top of the interface is a preset window. Hardcore comes with a vast amount of presets that can fit almost any genre or style of play. For many, all you'll need to do is to find a preset that matches your desired tone and sounds, and away you go. To navigate through the various presets, you can do so by clicking the forward or backwards arrows to scroll through the included presets. This might be helpful if you want to listen to each one till you find the one that you are looking for. Another option when selecting a preset is to click on the preset name, which will present you with a drop-down menu of all the presets available. You can then select the preset based on its name. With most of the included presets, you can get an idea of the sound and tone by its preset name. You can also click on the Load Program option to open a file navigation window that allows you to navigate to a save patch elsewhere on your hard drive. To save a patch, simply select Save Program Navigate to where you want the file to be saved and enter a preset name, and then click OK. If you want to reset the amp to a clean state, then you can select Reset Program. This will reset the input output levels, as well as reset the EQ and turn off any cabinet emulation. This is a good starting point if you are looking for a clean palette to start shaping your own tone with. The middle section of the interface is your pedal board. Just as with a physical pedal board, here is where you would add different effect pedals that are used to enhance and create the sound you want from your guitar amp and amp setup. We will be taking a closer look at working with pedals in videos 4 of this series, as well as covering each pedal in more detail.